Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys my morning skincare and makeup routine. So starting off with the First Aid Beauty Cleanser. It is the bomb. All you need is a little pea-sized amount. I like to massage into the skin. It feels really gentle, but it gets rid of everything. Like you really will feel so clean. No oils from your sleep or nothing like that. No little eye boogers. Just go ahead and wash that off. You're gonna feel real clean. I really love this hyaluronic acid from the Inky List. It's literally only eight bucks and it's gonna keep your skin looking juicy all day. It's gonna hold that moisture in. If you're a dragger like me, this is very necessary. Next, I'm using the polyglutamic acid from the Inky List. And this is more surface level. The hyaluronic acid goes a lot deeper. So basically it's like a cocktail of hydration when you use them together. Damn, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream is my ride or die. Like, she's pricey, but I just can't part ways with her. Like, she's the only one that does it for my dry skin. I get a lot of recommendations for this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Cream as an affordable alternative, but I got that forehead breakout right after I used it, and it just didn't do enough for me. So I got scared. I didn't want to try it again. For sunscreen, I'm using this mineral sunscreen from CeraVe. This was highly recommended by Hiram, who's a skincare expert here on YouTube. The downside is it has hella white cast. It's just kind of up to you to figure out whether you prefer mineral or chemical sunscreen for your skin, but a lot of these mineral sunscreens do have a white cast. We look in real ashy. Here are some chemical sunscreen options. One's affordable, one's high end, but they both are really hydrating and they go on clear on your skin. So just figure out what works best for you. You gotta wear sunscreen. And to top it all off, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mist. This right here is my baby. Like she makes me feel so good. Ugh. For brow gel, I finally tried the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and damn, like I really thought I was an ABH brow gel girl, but this shit does not let your brows move. Like this is perfect. I like using it before my brow pencil, just give it a little natural vibe. Then I'm taking the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5. It's a little bit on the ashy side, which I like because it gives kind of a shadowing effect. And I just add in some little hair strokes wherever I need them and any little gaps that I have. I can't believe I almost forgot about my baby girl Vaseline. Like, no chap lips over here. For primer, I love the Fenty Soft Silk. It gives the perfect base for my skin. For foundation, I'm still rocking with the Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I'm making that face because I'm almost out, which sucks. But right now, I'm in the shade 230. It's my winter shade. You can see it has a very high coverage, but I like to sheer it out when I do my natural, like, everyday face. It gives, like, the perfect veil on my skin, and it's really a natural finish. It's bomb. And for concealer, first I like to go in with the Fenty Concealer in the shade 230 because it actually matches my skin tone perfectly. Then I just tippity tap a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Beige. And this is just going to give us a little bit of brightening effect under the eye. And since we made sure to hydrate our skin with that skincare, we can still do powder without feeling dry or cakey. And this will stop us from creasing. This is the Anastasia powder. This is my ride or die. I put a little bit around my mouth as well or anywhere that you crease. I absolutely love a cream contour when I'm doing such a light face like this. This is the NYX Wonder Stick. And I realized looking at this on camera, like damn, this looks hella orange. This is in the universal shade. I'm not really feeling the shade right here, but I feel like the only other company that sells a really cool tone cream contour is Fenty or ABH, like a little bit more on the gray side, but they are a little bit dry for me. So you could kind of warm it up on the back of your hand or add a little oil and that helps too. You already know that this is my ride or die right here. The BH Cosmetics Bronze Bay Bronzer. Damn, no words. You already know how I feel about her. She's the best. The Blushing and Bali Palette from BH Cosmetics is damn near the best face palette I've ever used in my life. The blush shades are perfect and the highlight shades I'm about to use right now as well are completely perfect. I also have been digging a liquid or cream blush like the one from Makeup Revolution, but just wasn't the shade I was going for today, but it's bomb. I get asked about this product so much every time I use it, especially on TikTok. This is the Lime Crime Sunkiss Freckle Pen. I don't think they sell it anymore, unfortunately. I think it was just limited edition, but you could also try Freck. I've never tried that one before either. So for kind of the star of the show, my soft brown wing that I've been doing lately, this is actually done with the Fenty Snap Palette number one, and I use the dark brown shadow. It is so, so, so simple. It gives a soft little vibe to the eye, and the inner corner, hella easy. Like Sierra said, one, two, step. Like it literally is just two steps, and you got a long, elongated eye. It's soft enough to wear with an everyday look, but it also can be worn with a more bold look as well. This has been my favorite part of my routine lately. It really is just stepping me up to the next level. Obviously, eyelash curlers are nothing new, but we do skip them sometimes. Admit it, we get lazy and we skip this step, but literally never skip this step, okay? If you add a little mascara to the outer corner of the eye after they've been curled, it's gonna look amazing, elongated, and cat-like. 
For me, the quickest way to take a look to the next level when I have kind of a natural face on is lips because I have naturally fairly small lips. So I start off by lining them with a shade that almost matches my lips exactly. And I like to go around the outline of the lips. This is the NYX Sandstorm Lip Liner. I talk about this all the time. I've been liking a really diffused lip line lately. Then to create a little bit of a pout, I use the Too Faced Lip Injections in Tangerine Dream. I love that it gives a little flush tint to the lips. You can kind of see it's a little plump, but it does burn. Itching and burn it, itching and burn it. I've been loving this lip shade lately. This is the Lip Lacquer from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. It is the perfect your lips but better shade for me. Add a little bit more glow mist and you are all set. This whole routine from start to finish is literally maybe 20 minutes top. Skincare, makeup, everything. Like men really be complaining that we take too long to get ready. If your man complains about the short ass routine, you better leave his ass. Like you think I'm playing, but I'm really not, okay? <laughs> That's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.